I I'm laughing because this bag, I really want this bag. One. Hey guys, what's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is really good because it is a topic that you guys have requested for me to cover numerous times, whether it's here on YouTube or on Instagram, and I'm happy that I'm finally delivering. This video will cover the best starter bags, or the best, rather the best starter bags, no. This video will cover the best luxury bags to build or to start your luxury bag collection. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> okay, so if you guys have been rocking with me, you know that I have a background in luxury retail. Um, so I've been around bags, I've sold thousands of bags, I've you know, and not just for one brand, but multiple brands. So, and I also have a really um, big bag collection myself. So, uh, I I always find it hard to do these videos just because I feel like when you add things to your collection, it's very subjective. Like it's up to you, really, right? It's it depends on your style, your lifestyle, and whatnot. Um, but so that's why I've always kind of been a little abrasive to kind of like do these type of videos because I feel like I'm projecting my opinions. So I kind of try to step outside the box of what I ideally like and think about, okay, when I used to sell and, you know, do all this stuff for people, what were the key things that I would look at? You know, so whether if you go to the office or whether if you're a stay-at-home mom or, you know, what your lifestyle is. So this video will cover about five different categories, right? So we're gonna cover the best luxury work bags, the best luxury evening and dinner bags, the best luxury special occasion bags, the best luxury everyday bags and weekend bags. So five different categories. Um, I'm capping these bags at five at $3,500 because I feel like if you are just starting, you don't wanna just jump into huge price points, right? You definitely wanna gradually, you know, get in there. So I decided, I originally wanted to make the cap $3,000. So I don't wanna, I didn't wanna share anything higher than $3,000. However, <laughs> With all the damn price increases, it's a little hard to keep it under three. So um, I, I found that some of the bags that I felt like were just really good and great starter bags were a little higher in price. And these are because they've had price increases recently. So um, you won't find anything in this list over $3,500. Um, so basically what I'm basing the bags that I'm sharing with you guys, it will be on um, the house, the name of the brand, or the, 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 the house, basically, the brand. Um, craftsmanship, longevity, is this a recognizable piece? Um, and basically, you know, will you get that cost per wear? So this is going to be a very interesting video. It's very good. I definitely did a little bit of research just to make sure that I was really thinking about, you know, the everyday person and what what are what were those key things that I used to look for when I was, you know, shopping for bags for myself or for clients? Okay, so I almost forgot to mention in addition to the key luxury bags, I'm also going to share some mid-range, you know, luxury brands with you guys towards the end, as well as some of the classic brands that I would have loved to add, but I just feel like their price points are too high. And then I'll point out one or two bags from those brands. So your, you know, your Chanel's, your Dior's, and one or two bags that are not terribly expensive that you could, you know, still kind of add in or you can aim for them if you really want something from those houses. So yes, without further ado, now let's get into it. All right, so first up, I have six brands that I feel like are the best bang for your buck. Um, these are luxury brands that we're all very familiar with. Their quality is amazing. And I'm highlighting these six brands because in terms of their bags, their bags are not outrageous. That's not to say that other things or their clothing or their accessories are not overly priced, but in terms of the quality, I strongly believe that these brands you know, offer a little bit more than your Chanel, than your Dior, than your Louis Vuitton. So those brands are Saint Laurent, Gucci, Givenchy, Loewe, Fendi, and Balenciaga. So with that said, keep that in mind. So you're going to see me referencing a lot of bags from these brands just because I strongly believe that their price points are a lot better than um, some of the other brands. And then I've also seen 
some of the brands, you know, like your Chanel, where the quality is not the same. And it is, it's gone down slightly. So that's why I didn't really want. And then obviously the price point of Chanel is way above the $3,500. But yeah, so keep that in mind. So you'll see me referencing a lot of those brands. So first of all, we're going to jump into the best luxury bags for work. Okay, so I personally don't go into the office. The office is in my home. But if you are going into work for every day, you definitely want a bag that is sturdy, that um, will take basically your laptop, your notes, or basically anything else you would need if you're going to a place of work where you have a lot of files, or if you're going to a place of work where you just want the option of a change of clothes or whatnot. Um, that's kind of what I kept in mind when I made this selection. So I have three luxury bags, work bags, that I feel like are a great price point, great quality, and I feel like you will definitely love if you decide that you need a luxury bag for work. All right, so first up I have the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour, um, small in grain leather, which is usually a cowhide leather. I picked the grain leather because it's a bit more durable. Work bags, in my opinion, should be a little bit more durable. Um, they should have a bit more structure to kind of house everything and to prevent the bag from drooping. So I think this bag is a great bag. The price point is $2,990, which is an excellent price point, in my opinion. Um, my sister has the large size for this, and it is humongous. I picked the small size... Well, the large, I think the large size is re um, referred to as a medium. I can't remember. But I know the sizes are not necessarily like, even though it says small, it's still a good work size bag. So this small size bag would still take your laptop and pretty much any files or whatnot. So it's just like a very clean, a very modern kind of briefcase for a female. And I love this bag. I think it's an absolutely stunning bag. If you needed more space, you can probably go up um, the size to the largest size that they have. I can't remember if it's called the large or the medium, but um, it's also a great bag. It is a, a lot more expensive though, so keep that in mind. So I'm thinking, okay, let's add a good price point where you can still make it work for work. The small is a great size, great price point. I love this bag. It is an excellent, excellent bag. Next, we've got the Gucci Ophelia Medium, um, GG Medium Tote. Uh, it goes for $2,490. This is a great bag. I personally don't own this bag, but it's just a clean classic, you know, with your Gucci logo. Um, you have the leather trim on this bag, which just, you know, adds a little bit of zhuzh to the bag. I think this is a great work bag. You know, it can pretty much take whatever you need to get inside the bag. The price point is somewhat reasonable for what it is. Um, the bag isn't fully leather, but I know a lot of times a lot of people still like the logos. Logos are in again right now. And if you love logos and you just want a fun bag that you can uh, use for work, but at the same time you can use it for anything else, this is a great option. Gucci is one of those brands that I strongly believe offers a pretty decent price point for the type of bags that they create for the leathers, the skins, the fabrics and whatnot. So I think this is a great bag option for work. Um, yeah, and I love it. <laughs> On to the next. The next one I picked is the Fendi Sunshine Tote. You guys know how I feel about the Sunshine Tote. I broke down the Sunshine Tote in my breaking down the bag Fendi Sunshine Tote um, video and we went over all the different sizes. I selected the medium for this video just because I felt like, I feel like the large, which is what I have, is pretty big and it's in my opinion a better travel bag but the medium is a great work size bag because you know it's not overly big it's not too small but it'll take everything you need so you can put your laptop in there you can put pretty much anything you need inside that bag making it a great work bag and the leather is great the every well Fendi and leather you know leather Fendi excellent so yes this is a great bag the only thing I don't like about this bag is that it's not as structured um, so I would recommend if you decide to do this bag for work definitely get a, um, a base shaper or an organizer so that way it'll prevent the bag from drooping and you should also probably do that with the Gucci bag as well <music> So next up, we've got evening and dinner bags. Um, so for evening bags, and I do have another category for special occasions, so that's separate. But for dinner, e evening dinner, I'm thinking of more, you know, we're going to watch a movie or we're going for a nice dinner with friends or kind of hanging out. So you definitely want something that's not too big, not too small. So keeping that in mind, um, I selected three bags. Actually, for every category, in case I didn't say this already, for every category, I'm sharing three options that I love. Um, so for evening slash dinner, 
Um, first up, the Bottega Jody, Mini Jody Hobo. Um, the bag retails now for $2,500. The price has been going up. I love this bag. I own this bag myself. It is a go-to. It's just so easy. It's so easy, guys. Like, it's a beautiful bag. First of all, it features the Bottega's um, classic Intratecto weave, which is just, you know, a beautiful finish. Um, Bottega is probably one of those houses that have been around for years, but it has literally become mainstream very recently. Um, but the thing about Bottega, and the reason why this is such a great option is because it features that classic introjecto weave which is usually very expensive so the jody is a great entry price point for bottega in general where you still get you know that recognition of the brand you get the quality you get the workmanship bottega has always been known for their workmanship that that's why i just believe this is a great 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 bag i love the bag i have the bag and beige and it's just one of those go-to's for me i wear it all the time it travels well it packs well and it takes a lot of stuff so that's why this is a great evening bag even though for the most part we don't carry a lot at night but this is just a great bag to have because i feel like this bag will transition from day to night seamlessly next up we have the saint laurent le 5 f5 hobo bag in shiny leather um i like this bag I actually got this bag, um, but I didn't end up keeping it just because it didn't really suit what I needed it for. But this is still a great, great evening bag slash dinner bag. The quality is really good. Um, I think the reason why I returned mine because I got it in white and I have a few other white bags and I just felt like I would never pick up that bag over some of the other bags that I have that I have and that just that's my only reasoning for that but in terms of the workmanship excellent in terms of the price point excellent $2,250 you cannot beat it it's just a clean silhouette you can put it over your arm over your shoulder a little bit of not a little bit but pretty versatile in my opinion I've always thought of Saint Laurent has a brand that offers very reasonably priced bags for their workmanship and their name recognition because a lot of it you know yes it's workmanship it's the leather being used but for the most part <laughs> we're paying those extra dollars for the name for the house you know and Saint Laurent has been around for years and years and years and they've kind of you know owned that recognition and a little bit of the price hikes that a lot of these brands you know kind of throw out there but uh, I still find that their bags are very much a lot more reasonable in terms of the price point and as opposed to their counterparts with your Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and whatnot, or, um, or whatnot. So yeah, I was gonna say another brand, but I was just like, nah, let, let's not compare it to that brand. But anywho, <laughs> uh, this is a great bag. I love it, it's a great starter bag for, um, you know, if you want a good bag for dinner or for the evening. Next up, we've got another Saint Laurent bag. It is the Saint Laurent Upon Town Chain Wallet in Croc Emboss um, Shiny Leather. The price point on this is $12.50, an amazing price point. Saint Laurent does an excellent job with their leathers, especially the Emboss Croc leather. I do have, not this particular bag, but I do have um, a Saint Laurent bag in that Emboss Croc leather. And I have to say, I've had it for years now and it still looks new. So this is why I say Saint Laurent is an excellent choice, in my opinion, in terms of their price point, quality, craftsmanship. Um, and longevity. You know, you can always bring out a Saint Laurent bag and it'll always hold its value. It might not sell upwards like your Chanel or Hermes, but you will always have that value there just because they're very well made and they're very reasonably priced for the luxury market. Um, this particular bag is just a great easy bag. It's easy to wear. It looks absolutely beautiful. It looks a lot more expensive than the price tag that they, um, that they offer for the bag. So in my opinion, this bag is great for dinner. It's great for hanging out for a nice evening, dressed up or whatnot. So this is a great option and I love it. On to the next. All right, next up we've got special occasions. If you see my eyes going this way, I'm, I got no, so I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating, I'm not cheating. I just want to make sure that I say the right thing um, and I'm not talking in circles. I'm trying to like really keep on it. So let me keep on going because here I am talking in circles. Anywho, special occasions. I I'm laughing because this bag, I really want this bag. And this is the Jimmy Choo Bon Bon Satin bag with crystal handles. Technically, I would have loved to include the entire crystal bag, but it's $5,000. So it's way over this price point but 
in satin in the satin it is 1995 which is a very reasonable price point for a beautiful evening bag by a very established house such as Jimmy Choo. Um, this bag is gorgeous and it comes in pink, it comes in a an array of different colors. A girlfriend pointed it out and I've kind of had my eye on it and I was just like this is a really beautiful bag, it's gorgeous. Um, and I just feel like this bag makes a statement right so it's a great evening bag if you wanted to start building your you know evening bag collection I think this would be excellent it would make a great addition heads will turn when you wear it especially if you wear it with the right things and you know depending on what color you go for you can't really go wrong it doesn't have to be black that's another misconception if you're starting your collection you don't always have to deviate or always have to go for the black or the neutral you can still have fun with your first bag it doesn't have to be a black bag it really depends on your wardrobe and what you wear so even if your palette is a lot more neutral or a lot of blacks you can still add a pop of color to add interest and you'll be surprised how much you can wear because when you look at the color wheel and how colors either are op either opposite or beside each other you'll be surprised that every color kind of works with the other right so don't hesitate to dab into color for your first starter bag next up we've got the Valentino rock stud spike mini um, shoulder bag I love this bag because you can wear it has a top handle or a shoulder bag Bag. I have this bag. It is a great bag for special occasions. This, in my opinion, is another bag that I feel like you probably want to try it in a different color. But even if you decide to do it in black, why not? It looks absolutely great in black. You can carry it as a top handle to, for a special occasion if you're wearing it with a gown or whatnot, and it just looks great that way. But at the same time, if you want to make it a little bit more casual, you can use the crossbody. So not only is this a great bag for you know wearing it to a special occasion, but you can also wear it um, for a more casual event. If you're anything like me and you like to carry dressier bags during the day, why not? So even though these are suggestions for the different categories, don't feel like you're limited to only using these bags for those categories. So keep that in mind. But yes, I love this bag. I love the fact that it's a little bit more edgy. That $2,100 price point is also pretty good for the bag. This is a classic of the brand. You will see it year after year after year. So those are some of the things that I look at. So what what does this bag mean to the brand? Is it a classic? Does it have longevity? Do you see it year after year? It might go on sale, but the next thing you know it, it's it'll, the prices go back up. I actually got my Valentino Rockstud um, bag on sale, but funny enough, it, it was back on regular price everywhere else. So you you never know. You might be able to get these some of these classic bags on sale so keep that in mind so when you're looking out make sure you're looking for bags you know from the brands that are classic to them maybe there might be a slight difference in the hardware or the color and that might push it to go on sale so that's also a great way to get these bags at a lesser price all right next up we've got the vulgari small serpenty bag um i love this bag it is stunning um i have a bulgari bag not this particular bag, but I I got a bag. Um, they did a collaboration with an artist, Mary. I can't remember her last name, but I that that was my first um, Bulgari bag and my introduction to the brand and adding it to my collection. And I have to say, the quality, the workmanship, it lives up to the name or to the house, which you know, we all know it is more of an established jewelry brand. And you see that beautiful serpenty detail. Uh, when I unboxed my bag long time ago. The handles on mine are actually a snake handle and a lot of people are like oh I don't like snakes but you know I'm not necessarily a snake fan but the bag to me is a work of art um, and they're 2600 it's actually not 26 um, tw um yes it is 26 I was right the $2,600 price point is amazing because if the if their bags were by Chanel or by Dior or Louis Vuitton the price or Hermes the prices would be triple that, literally, just because their workmanship is just so, they are so fanatic to detail, and I appreciate that. So, like I said, craftsmanship is very important, longevity, what does this bag mean to the brand? So this is kind of along their classic, what they're known for in this serpenty bag, and I think this is a great bag to add. It could be whatever color, because they do offer the bag in an array of colors as well. So you can do black. I feel like the black doesn't do as much, but in the colors, especially in that beautiful green, stunning, stunning, stunning. Great evening, or sorry, not evening, but special occasion bag. <laughs> Alright, now we've got our everyday bags. 
So first up for the everyday bag, I picked the Jody, sorry, the Bottega Jody Teen Knot Intratecto Leather Tote. Um, I love this bag. I didn't realize they're calling it a tote, but I guess they're calling it a tote. Um, anywho, a little bigger than your other Jody, because you know we have the the, sm the mini Jody for you know your evening um, bag. But I picked this one for a great uh, everyday bag because of the size because it's easy, because the bag itself is not heavy, right? So in terms of an everyday bag, you want a bag that is easy to use. You can use it with ease. Um, it's not too heavy, so it's not going to weigh you down, but it's also very versatile. The hobo style of the bag just, you know, lays comfortably on your shoulder, or you can still wear it on your arm. It's just a beautiful bag, in my opinion, and at that $3,200 price point, it's not so bad. You know, once you start getting into the more structured bags and the structured items that Bottega has to offer, the prices jump all the way up. Like, I have a structured Jody, which cost me, I think it was almost $5,000, right? And it's still this within the same Jody silhouette. But once you start getting into structured bags with Bottega and a lot of the houses, the prices tend to go up a lot. So I just feel like this, not only is this a great bag, the great price point, you still have that classic Bottega detail, but you also have a bag that's actually really comfortable to wear. I personally don't have this bag, but I do know that people that do have it talk about how comfortable it is, how easy it is to wear, how it's just a great everyday bag, and hence it is on my list. I, I increased the price point to $3,500 because of this bag, because I do strongly feel like this is a great bag, especially now that the trends are going into more bigger bags. This is a great bag that you could use every day without breaking the bank. All right, next we have the Balenciaga City Bag. Um, I... I can't remember if this is the large size. I want to say this is more of the large size. Uh, price point twenty seven fifty. This is a classic. This bag has been around for over twenty years. <laughs> like this is a classic, and it is a great bag. Not only is it interesting, but it's really functional. It's very spacious. I personally don't have this exact size, but I do have a smaller bag. And Balenciaga is known for this bag. They're known for their leathers. Their leathers are pretty durable. This is just a beautiful bag, in my opinion. Um, it's one of those bags that you walk around with, and you feel pretty cool with it. So I love this bag. I think you can not go wrong with it especially if you're you know beginning to build your collection this would be a great bag to start with it makes a statement it's a little edgy but there's something classic about it because it's you know it has longevity and it's been around for the brand for years all right next up another Saint Laurent piece like I said Saint Laurent in my opinion for their price points every category really like literally they can fill up every category because of their quality their price points, workmanship, and all that good stuff. So next we've got the Saint Laurent Nikki Baby Mini Quilted, but I picked the Crinkly Gloss Leather Shoulder Bag. It goes for $2,790. Um, this is a great bag. It Because of the crinkly leather finish, it has interest, number one, and it's just a great, beautiful, everyday bag, especially if you're one that you like a classic shoulder bag, or if you kind of like that look of the Chanel Classic Flap, this kind of has that same, or not same, but very similar silhouette where you can just plop it on your shoulders. It's very classic. You know, it's known, you know, the brand, it's no, the brand is known for the silhouette, right? It's just a clean classic. You've got that Saint Laurent, the YSL logo on the bag. And it's just a beautiful bag. I think this is truly a great bag to have. Great every day, not too heavy, has the compartments, has enough space to put your phone and anything else you might need inside the bag. So I really think that this is a great bag for every day if you want to start your collection, you know. If you don't want to spend that five, six thousand dollars that Chanel throws down our throats all the time, this is definitely a beautiful bag to have. You still look luxurious, you look amazing with this bag, and it just complements whatever, you know, outfit you wear it with. So I'm a huge fan of the bag. This is one to definitely add to the list. All right, now the best weekend bags. So for weekend bags, we're starting with the Loewe puzzle bag. I had the puzzle bag. I love the puzzle bag. I still love the puzzle bag. I say I had because I did sell mine only because I was not wearing it because I have 
a lot of bags in the color scheme that I owned at the time. That's not to say I will not pick up another Loewe puzzle bag because I truly, truly love this bag. Um, it is very classic for the brand. It is easy to use. The opening, in my opinion, it, it still opens pretty it's a pretty decent opening, but it is still a little narrow. You have that outside pocket, which is also very functional and very useful. The leather on this bag is exquisite. Like, the leather, gorgeous. And the way it just takes the color, the hue, it's just nice and rich. So this is a beautiful bag. It's a shoulder bag, but you, at the same time, you can still wear it has a top handle. Um, in my opinion, it's not terribly heavy, which makes it a great, you know, weekend bag. If you're probably going exploring or hanging out or whatnot, you just want to throw it over your, over your shoulder where it has a crossbody and go. If you're not really a crossbody person, you can always have the strap to hang and just wear it has a top top handle but you know it's a great bag $2,850 price point it's pretty reasonable I feel like the price of the Loewe bags have started going up as well but um, I definitely think this is a great bag it's a great bag to have and you can't go wrong with it next up we've got the Gucci horse bit 1955 mini bag um, this is a beautiful bag beautiful bag well made Gucci quality is exquisite i think i don't even remember what my first luxury bag was because i bought my first luxury bag maybe 25 years ago so i really have i can't remember what it was but i know gucci is probably right up there and i have to say everything that i own from gucci is still in immaculate condition including belts that are you know over 20 years old so gucci has always been known for its workmanship i think that they've also you know had some price increases but they've always been a little bit more reasonable than all the other houses um this particular bag you know we're seeing this reintroduction of the bag very very well made i actually picked up this bag once upon a time but i ended up getting the jo um, bottega jody structure bag instead so i ended up returning it but it is an, an absolutely stunning bag guys like it has the two straps so you've got that green and um green and red classic gucci strap but it also comes with its own strap in the leather and not only is it offered in leather but it's offered in a lot of different you know different fabrications and whatnot so i picked this bag as a great weekend bag because you still have that crossbody option if you're that girl that you know you don't want the casual relaxed look of the loyve but you want something a bit more structured and a bit more chic this is a great bag this is a great every day bag this is a great weekend bag this is just a great bag to have like it's not only limited to weekends because you can really take this bag from day to night in my opinion especially in the mini size um i just think it's a great bag to have and i i feel like if you want to start building and you love gucci you love this clean classic silhouette why not this would be a great bag to add to your collection or to even start your collection with next up we've got a bag from fendi you guys know i love fendi if you are new here you need to watch some of my bag videos. Um, I've got quite a few. I've, I have the breaking down the bag videos. But even just check me out on Instagram. Guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to follow me on Instagram. I do share a lot. I think I share a lot more. But obviously, it's short, fast content. But just more of the bags and everything. And you can go back, way back, to just see, you know, all the different bags and whatnot. But um, I, I've said it. I, I have a reel for it. I have. I, I think I uploaded a video here. Fendi's been taking all my money, really. Um, I feel like I have almost every silhouette. Um, just their quality is amazing. Their price point is not outrageous <laughs> in comparison to some of the other established houses. Um, but this bag, I actually do not have. But I definitely want to get it. And I talked about this in another video. I do. I will link all like my bag videos so you guys can kind of you know see where i am in terms of bags and what bags to have and breaking down bags and all that fun stuff but the fendi graphi small beige leather bag it doesn't have to be the beige i just thought in my opinion that beige is a great weekend everyday you know type bag because it's just a bit more versatile you can carry it all the time especially if you're one that you kind of like just simple classic hobo bags but you still want something on the bag to kind of just you know show that yes you know to add that interest or to you know add that oomph to it so this particular bag the silhouette is very clean it's very simple but you've got that detail on the bottom of the bag um you know where it says fendi and that just adds interest right especially in that gold hardware so i think this is a great everyday weekend type bag where you can just you know throw it on your shoulder you're meeting up with your girlfriends for brunch you don't want to be overdressed but you still want to look cute and stand out with your designer bag so this bag is an excellent choice I want to get the little micro mini one because I just 
like useless bags <laughs> literally <laughs> but anywho um this is a good size bag you can put a whole bunch of stuff in it it kind of gives me the jody vibe right the teen jody size whatever type vibe so i definitely have wanted to add this bag in there because i do think this would be a great bag for the weekend just and then you could also i'm not sure if this particular bag has its strap that comes with it but if not fendi does offer some other strap op strap options that you can kind of put on the bag or take it to another bag and kind of mix match. All right guys, so those were the bags that I believe are great starter bags. If you are starting your luxury collection, if you wanna start building or if you just want great bags to just add to your collection that are not terribly priced those are the ones i would highly recommend let me know if you feel like i missed anything or if i should have added anything let me know because sometimes you know i i kind of i look around but then i go with what cat catches my attention and in all honesty there are a lot of bags out there so you know it, for me I, I i had those key things that i was looking at is you know is there longevity is the price good what about the workmanship? What does the silhouette look like? How will it work for this person in this category? So those are kind of the things that I, you know, had in mind when making my decision and picking these bags. So I hope you guys love my picks. Um, in addition to those picks, I also wanted to share the brands that I didn't add, which were Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, and um, I was going to say Hermes again. I ate, so there's no reason for the tongue tying, but Chanel, Dior, Hermes, and Louis Vuitton. Um, these are probably our most popular luxury bag brands that we've all seen. I just, I feel like if you're starting, I don't know, there's something about jumping all the way there, but, but if you feel like, you know what, I love those brands and I want something from the brand from those brands one of those brands to start my collection I figured I'd share at least one or two that I think you know what if you if you really feel like you need to why not consider this so first Chanel obviously the classic flop is the bag we all love it's been around forever but it also comes with an outrageously high price point which in my opinion is not deserving of the high price point. However, the brand has decided that they want to go in the direction of Hermes and make it overly exclusive. So, you know, to me that just kind of limits the amount of people that can actually own from the brand. However, if you still feel like I want something from Chanel, I would highly I would highly suggest to consider getting the wallet on a chain. The wallet on a chain is stupid expensive right now. I remember back in the day it was like less than a thousand or maybe 1500 and this is not so so far back maybe within the last 10 e not even last 10 years like i really feel like the the prices really just skyrocketed very recently like within the last five to six years but that would still be a great entry price point to the brand um so you you know you really have to weigh your pros and cons do i want to spend that upwards of three thousand dollars now i think it's about three thousand i will i can't remember the price right off the top of my head but i will insert it do you want to spend that amount for something that is very limiting which is basically a wallet but on a chain or do you want to buy an actual bag so those are the things you need to consider before jumping into the realm of chanel and then next um dior i'm a huge dior fan I did get rid of a lot of my Dior bags, but I still have quite a few left, and I'm, I will always be a Dior lover. I, my, some of my favorite bags in my collection are from Dior. Quality, exquisite, price point still a lot more reasonable than Hermes and Chanel. Um, however, their bags are still very expensive. If you wanted to dab into Dior, I would say the Lady Dior is the one to have. The Lady Dior is still very expensive, um, but I, if, if I'm correct, depending on the size, you can still get it for under four thousand dollars so this is a classic for the brand if if this will be your first luxury bag and you love the house of dior i would suggest to get the lady dior it is timeless it is classic there is nowhere you take a lady dior to that it doesn't make a statement right there is nowhere you would go to without wearing it that it will not elevate your outfit so keep that in mind if you want to spend a little bit more than this three thousand five hundred price point i suggested consider getting the lady dior if you are not good with leather if you 
don't like delicate skin, I would say go for something in the patent leather. The lambskin is absolutely beautiful. However, it is a bit more fragile because it is lambskin. So keep that in mind as well for all leathers across. Next, Louis Vuitton, the Capucine. I love that bag. I have one. That would be the one I suggest. I, I'm not a fan of the Neverfull. Sorry if you have the Neverfull. I've hated the Neverfull since before. <laughs> when the Neverfull was $500. I hated it back then. I hate it now. Sorry to anyone who has it. I just don't like the bag. I don't like the idea of canvas costing as much as it does now. Um, so yeah, I, I would not suggest the, the Neverfull. However, if your heart pushes you towards the Neverfull, please do so. That is just me and I am not the god of fashion. <laughs> so please buy whatever makes you happy. However, if you want to save up and if you really want to get something from Louis Vuitton I would just suggest the Capucine because it is just excellently made the craftsmanship is immaculate beautiful 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 bag and it's a classic for the brand so that would be the one I suggest last Hermes I don't even know if I should include Hermes because <laughs> I don't think you could get it as a starter bag because you can't even you can't even get one I've been on a waiting list to get the Kelly for over two years now so yeah um, I don't know. I don't even think anything or mesh should be considered a starter bag and then resale is just outrageous You can get it in store. Uh, I, I would I think they, they start about like that nine to ten thousand and they kind of go up depending on size and whatnot But you know that's in store for that ten thousand dollar price but if you're getting it in the resale market, you're paying upwards of fifteen thousand dollars, and I just I I I am never in a rush to spend money, and to know that I can eventually get it for a lower price point, I'll just patiently wait. So, but yes, obviously Hermes is Hermes. They've created this market for themselves where they can, you know, request those price points. But so I I just don't even see that as a starter bag. But hey. If you have access and you, you know, to, to the bag and you have the money to spend to just, you know, start your collection with a bang, then go for it. All right, so one last category that I wanted to hit on. Um, I, is this a category? I guess it's a category. I don't know. Anywho, in case everything that I shared is still out of your budget, still too expensive, there are a few mid-range brands that I feel like you shouldn't sleep on, right? Um, you have your Tory Burch, you've got your Cult Gaia, Kate Spade, Coach. These brands are all brands that offer amazing quality, amazing leather, and great craftsmanship. They're just not known for their premium luxury price point. So you can still get that designer look and paying a lot less. Coach is doing very well with its tabby bag. Is it tabby? I think that's what it's called, that puffy bag. Um, and Tory Burch has a, a host of different bags. The, I think it's the Rizza bag. I had that bag. I eventually did sell mine because I just wasn't using it as much. And I'm really in this state of mind where I don't like to just collect things unless I'm using things because when you just have so much that it takes up space, on my closet or on my shelves and that means I can't buy more. So for me to buy new, something has to go to add new. So I, I decided to get rid of that bag. However, it is a gorgeous bag. Um, Kate Spade has a lot of great bags. I've had some Kate Spade bags in the past. I've done Kate Spade bag giveaways. So I do know the workmanship, amazing. Um, Cult Gaia, one of my absolute favorite dinner bags is from Cult Gaia. You cannot go wrong with these, bag, um, these bags or these brands rather. So don't always feel like, oh my God, the only way for me to have a luxury bag or to have that look is to spend upwards of $3,000. No, you can get these bags under, literally under $1,000. So, you know, and including Jacques Mousse as well. So if you don't have that budget and you still want the designer look, consider Jacques Mousse, Kate Spade, Colt Gaia, Coach, Tory Burch, and a host more. So, yes. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my luxury starter bags. Let me know what you think. Those were the bags, you know, that I feel like if you want to kind of like, you know, spend a little bit more than the 3005 that I suggested and just splurge a little bit with your Chanel, your Hermes, well, not Hermes, well, I guess, Dior and all of those. But those were the selections. Those are my picks. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you've been eyeing. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if I missed anything. As always, you guys know, I am so grateful that you take the time to watch my videos. Do your girl a favor and please like the video. Share if you have any bag lover friends. Um, when you like the videos, when you share the videos, it tells YouTube that these are great videos and they continue to share. I hope that this video was helpful 
to you guys. Um, now I have something that I can share with people when they ask me the question, what bag do I get? How do I start my collection? Who do I go to? Um, if you're in Atlanta, I will leave um, I have a few, well, Layla is my go-to person literally for bags in general, and then I do have Derek at Fendi, um, I have Kaylin at Dior, as well as Randy at Dior, so I have a few people that are very, very knowledgeable, and they're very helpful, I will leave all of their links um, in the description box as well, so if you need someone to kind of guide you through um, the process of, you know, purchasing a bag, I will definitely link them below. Um, because it, it, you know, it's a big investment and it's a lot of money, you know, it's a lot of money for a lot of us. So I feel like if you're going to, you know, spend your heart on money on something, make sure you're making the right decision. I, I, like I said, I'm not the fashion god, even though I can't, no, 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 I'm kidding. But no, I just really wanted to at least try and steer you guys in the right direction. So consider those brands, consider, um, Saint Laurent really to be my number one pick in terms of affor affordable luxury. This is like luxury keep in mind uh, clearly luxury is not really affordable but at least decent and reasonable price point so i just hope that this was helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram it's odd by Moni on instagram as well as tiktok for tons of style inspiration in between these videos if you need style inspo just check out all my videos because we we do fashion here especially the high low fashion tons of videos check out my website oddbymonica.com for tons of style inspo as well, especially the What Would Monty Wear page. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> Till next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.